guys it's bella and we're back again with another video i do kind of like that i think that might end up being my new little intro segment thing don't come for me for this y'all see that Basically, my closet light don't work. So we were trying to fix it. It hasn't gotten fixed yet. We don't know what the problem is, but don't come for me. Anyways, so as you guys can see by the title, today I'm going to be talking about some tips and tricks on how to stay fresh and smell good and smell clean all day, every day. I always get complimented on how I smell. I'm not trying to smell home nothing. But I always get compliments on how I smell, always told my hair smells good, always told my perfumes or whatever smell good. Always been told that. So I'm gonna give y'all some tips and tricks on how to smell good and clean all throughout the day, especially because it's summer and we be smelly, we be stinky, we be sweating. But no one wants to smell the dogs. So listen up, put your ears up and take notes, ladies, take notes and boys, everybody take notes. We don't discriminate here. But basically, what I'm gonna be talking about is tips and products for sweat control because I was asked about sweat control and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna be talking about how to obviously stay smelling good throughout the day. We're gonna be talking about how to make perfumes and all this kind of stuff last and smell good longer. We're gonna be talking about how to keep fresh breath. And finally, for the ladies, we're gonna be talking about how to smell good down there in your little lady bits. So let's just get right into it. But I also just want to say, obviously, I'm not a pro, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an esthetician, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a... I'm not nothing professional or nothing, so I don't really know completely what I'm talking about, you know? But I use some of these tips and tricks. This is all from personal experience. I done some research, all that kind of stuff, so... You can choose to take my advice or leave it, but please don't come for me if it don't work for you. That's not my fault. The first topic we're gonna be talking about is basically sweat control, how to keep your armpits and everything dry, hopefully, and keep them smelling good. So quickly, I just wanna mention, if you are not a huge sweater, I highly recommend natural deodorant just because it is better for you. Natural deodorant does not have aluminum and basically what aluminum does because natural deodorant normally is an antiperspirant which means it keeps you from sweating. Antiperspirant deodorants have aluminum which do the job of clogging your sweat gland pores in your armpits which keep you from sweating. So if your issue isn't really sweating, you just wanna smell good, I definitely highly recommend a natural deodorant. I sweat a lot, so I tried this. It's the native deodorant. This one is a lavender and rose. I really like this one, it's super nice. It's paraben free and aluminum free. There's also other brands of natural deodorant that you guys can try. The way your body works, it has to get the toxins out. And when aluminum clogs it up, if you don't put on deodorant for a day or whatever, the toxins left over in your body will tend to seep out so another thing if you guys do want to switch over to a natural deodorant you have to detox your armpits otherwise y'all are going to stink over time the toxins will build up and will start to smell really really bad so when you're switching over to natural deodorant the smell of the deodorant won't cover up because you're letting all the toxins out of your body so basically you have to detox your armpits to get the toxins out faster so you can start using the natural deodorant and you won't stink and it'll do its job correctly. So there are scrubs that you can use in your armpits. I think Pacifica has one and it's like a natural um, armpit detox scrub that you can get. I know it's on Ulta. But the way I have detoxed my armpits is with the Indian Healing Clay Mask because this John does everything and a bag of chips. So if you do want to switch over to natural deodorant, highly recommend this. So it didn't work for me all the time. It did work for me sometimes, but not all the time. But I have other people who have used natural deodorant and they say that it works wonders for their sweat. So I definitely recommend it because it is better for your body. But also it is also fine if you choose to use some other deodorant. You can always just detox your armpits just cause just to get all that stuff out. But if your problem is sweat and you still wanna smell good and all that kind of stuff, I definitely recommend stronger deodorant and some of the really strong brands of deodorant are Degree. I think everyone knows Degree and Mitchum. I know that is also a very strong, strong deodorant brand. Should help with sweat. 
or if you're a lady and you still are struggling with sweat and all that kind of stuff men's deodorant tends to be a lot stronger i'm not really sure why it's probably just because like they're guys they assume that they're gonna be sweating more so i recommend switching over to a men's deodorant that's what i use right now i'm using the men degree 48 hour antiperspirant cool rush um i don't really care about the smell it smells fine but like as long as it does the job for me with the sweat that's all i'm really worried about so men's deodorant i definitely highly recommend so now to move on to how to make perfumes last longer i'm sure you've heard all these tips before but i'm gonna go over them again really quickly so putting a non-scented or a very light scented thick lotion on your body right before you spray your perfume is one way to make the perfume last a lot longer because it has something to stick to versus just plain old like skin. I use this, it's a not very strong smell but it is also like a good smell but it's a thick lotion. It's not sticky, it's not anything like that but it does work wonders. So I highly recommend this lotion or Vaseline if you wanna put Vaseline like on your wrists or on your neck before you spray it um, in those areas then that also tends to help with keeping the smell on you longer. Another tip that I have is to get matching lotions and perfume. That's a good way to like keep the smell on you longer because not only are you putting the perfume on, but you're putting the matching lotion on under it, which helps the perfume stick to the lotion, which in turn makes you smell stronger and makes it last longer. These are a couple of my favorites. I really like the Pink Velvet Cupcake from Bath & Body Works. This is a favorite of mine. I also really like Champagne Toast from Bath & Body Works. I also like Thousand Wishes, which I don't have right now. Warm Vanilla Sugar is always a good smell. And also another tip, if you want your perfume and stuff like that to last longer, I have never had an actual perfume perfume. I only use body sprays like I just showed you guys. And perfumes tend to be a lot stronger, just like colognes, how they'll last all day. Perfumes will last you all day. So if you guys want to invest in like some actual perfumes, that's highly recommended. Also, I just want to say for the ladies out there, if y'all are trying to get a boyfriend, I heard that it is scientifically proven. I heard that it is scientifically proven that men are more attracted to vanilla and sweet cream type smells. I don't know why, but that's what I heard. Now we're gonna move on to the fresh breath. So obviously, y'all know, brush your teeth twice a day, floss, do your mouthwash, right? But the main parts that make your breath really smelly and gross are obviously if you guys have cavities in between your teeth that's rotting teeth that's obviously going to make your breath not smell very good a lot of you guys also have probably heard brush your tongue that's where all the bacteria sits if your tongue is anything but pink if it's anything but pink y'all better go brush it right now unless you guys have a medical condition that makes your tongue not pink go brush your tongue right now because that is what is making y'all stink and then also a lot of people don't tend to brush the roof or their mouth which is another really bacteria gathering spot just like your tongue and then another thing that a lot of people don't know about i didn't know about this until like a couple months ago tonsil stones bro tonsil stones make your breath smell so bad and not everybody has them but if you know where your tonsils are i might insert a picture of like where your tonsil stones would be like over here i might do it it's kind of gross but like i might do it i'll just make sure it's cartoon but basically tonsil stones are in the back of your throat they're in your tonsils which are like back here and sometimes your tonsils will have little itty bitty crevices and basically a tonsil stone is built up bacteria built up food built up mucus all that kind of stuff and it sits in those little crevices and it builds up into like a stone like thing and it's like a little yellowish whitish stone and it sits in your freaking tonsils and those they stink they stink so bad and i didn't know what they were sometimes they'll come out naturally sometimes they'll come out when you're sleeping sometimes they'll come out when you cough when you clear your throat all that kind of stuff that has happened to me before and i didn't realize that it was a tonsil stone i literally just thought that i was like because like i'll cough and i'm sick and so i just think that it was like a booger or something that like came out of my throat no it's a tonsil stone i didn't know about it until tiktok so thank you tiktok if the girls who got the tonsil stone out see this video thank you for opening up my eyes because i had no idea what tonsil stones were but if your breath is smelling that's probably what it is because they stink obviously they're built up bacteria they're not going to smell good highly recommend trying to get that out you can get them out multiple different ways you can get them out with a q-tip you can like wet the end a little bit and gently gently push it out you don't want to like stab you don't want to like 
rupture your tonsil, you know, because that's not good either. Or I know that a lot of people, if they have those water flossers, you can water floss it out. Like you can like spray it back there and it'll like pop out. But yeah, so tonsil stones, think about it. If y'all have seen something back there, probably a tonsil stone, try to get it out. Sometimes they also sit on the top of your tonsils. Mine personally, I only get it on this side because I have a crevice in my tonsil and they'll sit in there. A really good mouthwash that I heard works really, really well for your breath is TheraBreath mouthwash. I personally don't have any because I have this Crest Pro Health Advanced stuff. But maybe after I'm done with these, I'll try the TheraBreath and let y'all know how it goes for me. But this is the stuff that I use. And then finally, obviously to keep your breath fresh throughout the day, you can make sure that you're getting all the food out of your teeth when you eat. So if you need to bring some toothpicks or some floss sticks along with you, get the food out in between your teeth. Um, keeping like a mini mouthwash on you at all times or gum and mints that can help you stay fresh throughout the entire day. So you don't have to worry about breathing your dragon breath in somebody's face. And then the last thing I'm gonna talk about is basically just tips on how to smell good down there. So the first thing I'm sure y'all have heard, it is way better to use cotton underwear. If you wanna wear that nice lacy underwear or whatever, go you, wear that nice lacy underwear, but make sure that it has the little pockets in the piece that like lays underneath your cooter cat and make sure it's cotton so that your coochie can breathe. But if you are gonna wear unbreathable underwear, I definitely, but don't wear underwear at night or wear cotton underwear at night because again, it needs to breathe, needs to let out everything that's going on down there because yeah. So just let that breathe, let that live, at least for while you're sleeping if you're not gonna let it live during the day. And then you can use feminine washes. Um, there is a black owned feminine wash that I believe is in Target and Walmart and you can buy their stuff online. It's a Honey Pot Co. I haven't used them, but I do wanna try them. I just haven't found them yet. All their stuff online when I had checked is sold out, which really sucks, but I definitely am going to be checking in stores when I go to get my other stuff. Feminine wash. Um, I heard that like Vagisil and Summer's Eve and stuff like that was not good for you because it can screw up your pH. I don't really know for sure 100%, but I definitely would go on the more natural side of feminine washes if you are going to use a feminine wash or just use plain non-scented sensitive wash for down there as long as it's not going inside because your vagina is a self-cleaning organ which means that you do not have to stick any soaps or nothing up inside there to clean it it will clean itself and you like i said y'all don't need to put nothing down there that don't need to be down there like i was just saying with the whole vagicel thing messing up your ph that's a reason why a lot of girls tend to smell bad down there because their ph is messed up because basically down there you are very acidic um, I believe vaginas are on the 4 or 4.5 range of a 1 to a 7, which makes your vagina more acidic. So when people douche, the acidity of water is a 7 versus your vagina, which is supposed to be 4 or 4.5, which when you douche can mess that all up, which in turn makes you smell bad or smell different than what you were smelling before and also i want to mention y'all aren't going to smell like roses and i hope y'all know that it doesn't matter how much pineapple you eat how much cranberry juice you drink you're not going to smell like roses you're not going to smell like fruit you're not going to smell like rainbows and ponies and you're not going to taste like that either so i don't know who be putting this into your mind but that's not how it works um, everybody has a natural musk down there. Everybody has a natural smell. Obviously, you don't want to be smelling like fish. You don't want to smell like rotten. You don't want to smell like sulfur. You don't want to smell like anything like that. And if you do, that's not healthy. Go to the doctor because that means something is wrong, but you are going to have a natural smell down there. Your pH is definitely a reason why stuff can smell a little funky down there because your pH is messed up by putting soap in there, by pretty much putting anything in there that doesn't need to be put in there. Again, it's a self-cleaning organ. You're gonna be fine as long as you're keeping yourself clean. And another thing that messes up a lot of people's smell down there is their diet. If you're eating a bunch of fish, you might smell a little bit like fish. If you're eating a bunch of onions, you might smell a little bit like onions. Your diet really does matter down there and that's why people say to eat pineapples and to drink cranberry juice and all that kind of stuff. Another really good thing for down there is yogurt because of the microbes in there it apparently helps with keeping everything down there like good and 
on point. So those are foods that you guys can definitely start eating or drinking or whatever. And again, it's not gonna make you taste like pineapples and it's not gonna make you taste like anything like that. It's not gonna make you smell wonderful, great, amazing, but it is gonna help you keep a low smell or not really a smell at all. Another good thing to do every once in a while, just in case your pH is messed up, is to take like an apple cider vinegar bath that since apple cider vinegar is more acidic you put like a cup or two of apple cider vinegar into a warm bath with you and it is supposed to get your ph all back on track it's supposed to clean you down a little bit like that and i've done it a couple times and i never smell like vinegar afterwards i just basically smell like nothing down there which is really good with the cranberry juice thing i take these cranberry extract pills which actually work way better than cranberry juice because cranberry juice tends to have a lot of extra added sugars in it which also sugar does not make you taste or smell sweet sugar actually can throw your stuff off because it's unhealthy and not good for your body obviously i'm not saying to stop like eating and drinking sugar but cranberry juice isn't going to do as much as this cranberry extract it also helps with the urinary tract help which helps support a healthy urinary tract and may promote antioxidant activity so this is a very good pill to start taking it's just a vitamin pretty much it's a dietary supplement this has helped wonders down there with me and the way that i smell i never really stunk bad but i noticed after taking these for a little while i've been taking them for i think two months now after taking these there's like no smell down there at all and then also of course you can freshen up throughout the day feminine wipes is a really good idea to use like i said earlier baby powder is also okay so all that kind of stuff will help you stay clean and freshened up down there but yeah so that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this helped you guys in some way yeah so those make sure you like comment and subscribe on this video and let me know down in the comments if you like this video which i want to see for me next if the comments are on my comments have been turned off on a couple of my videos recently but that's okay because y'all can follow me on my socials down below and go let me know down there too on my socials but yeah so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>